Hi everyone. It is October 22nd, 2017. What we experienced here with our hurricanes, what you guys experienced in the UK with Hurricane Ophelia, Japan is now experiencing with their typhoon land. But I want to bring your attention to the massive flooding that Japan had in back in July. This flooding, the rain, caused major destruction, property, homes, and death. No, it wasn't 15. It was above 30. 30 is not the, is not the um, total because there were many people missing after these floods in Japan in July. So now Japan is experiencing a typhoon. And a typhoon is a hurricane. Um, it's a hurricane for the Northwest Pacific. We just call them hurricanes if they develop in the Atlantic, Caribbean Sea, the Northeast Pacific. But in the Northwest Pacific, they're called typhoons. So typhoon land, nearing landfall in Japan with damaging winds and flooding rainfall, including Tokyo. So weather is being used as a weapon, not just in the United States, not just in the UK, not just in the Philippines, not just in so many different countries, but also Japan. So um, these weather events happening in the same areas now, they seem to be happening far more frequently but that's to get everybody thinking, oh my God, it's climate change and we've got to do something. We've got to, we've got to legislate. We've got to pass laws. We've got to have rules and regulations. We've got to update our infrastructure. We've got to put in energy saving appliances in our homes. And, and, and we, we have to, uh, we've got to make all of those green changes to our homes. Otherwise they will flood or they will burn, or they will crumble in earthquakes. We can't get through to our fellow citizens, regardless of the country we live in. That man is causing all of these weather events. And that's a shame, because more and more people will die, more and more people will yeah, suffer the consequences. Oh, God. A CNN meteorologist. Let's take a listen just for a few minutes. Parts of Japan already. I found an interesting uh, stat or a bit of information. Back in 1979, they also had a lower house election in the month of October. A typhoon came through, dropped 100 millimeters on Tokyo, and that dropped the voter. Do you see all of the frequencies being used right here? CNN, their radar satellite which is interesting because I'm going to show you the radar on Intellicast and there's nothing here. Nothing here at all. But yes, right smack in your face are the use of frequencies to control this typhoon um, hitting, hitting Japan. Um, I don't want to listen to that anymore. I can't listen to these people. They make me sick to my stomach. So, Typhoon Land, tens of thousands told to evacuate as Category 4. It's a Category 4. Wow, that looks pretty nasty, doesn't it? I guess that's the eye uh, with a plug in it. Uh, you can see all of the geoengineering right here. Right here on mainstream media, independent, UK. Here you go. Look at all of these lines on the periphery of this storm. Yes, they do geoengineer the periphery of these storms to help steer it, to help intensify it, control it. But right down here, you can see all of the geoengineering right on the periphery, right where it's supposed to be. All right. Very upsetting because people do suffer the consequences. But it's happening again on Election Day. Isn't that interesting? So, uh, Typhoon Land has already killed two, and they're calling for more, more evacuations, Category 4.
Intense. Intense. Okay. Um, did they do this to make sure that there were there was a low voter turnout? Who the hell knows? But I do want to bring your attention to all of the massive, massive geoengineering and the use of frequencies in all of these weather fronts all over the world. And you know what? We all get to suffer the consequences because we are affected by all of this, the poisons that they're dropping into the uh, stratosphere, the atmosphere fall down and we breathe them in and also the use of the frequencies that affect life itself, all of life. But look at this typhoon, this hurricane, this category four in Japan. You just zoom in, you can see all of the geoengineering, you can see this block of a grid pattern right in your face right here. So let me just scroll through the uh, just certain look at this look at all of the lines right here but look at what jumps out at you right over here all of the geoengineering that is taking place Wow, what a grid pattern, isn't it? Check it out. It's hard to live this life when it's so clear that these that this is weather being used as a weapon against the citizens of the world to get them to believe in climate change to destroy more and more people, to kill more and more people, and yet we do have our fellow, our fellow citizens in our respective countries, and they just look at us like they're, like we're crazy, and they're, they're actually prideful. They're proud of their ignorance. They're proud. They've done no research. They roll their eyes at us, call us crazy, and they won't do any research. And they think that that's absolutely fine behavior. Frightening. But all of these lines, yes, it is a geoengineered typhoon that, well, is it actually hitting Japan? Is it actually hitting Japan? Because all you have to do is turn on the radar. And voila, nothing's there. Nothing at all. Nothing. If you go to Ventu Sky, oh wow, my computer's dying on me. Very frustrating. Okay, let's take a look. Let's take a look at the wind speeds and see if it's a category four. If it will start. Okay, no, it's not a category four. The highest wind speed I got just about 15 minutes ago was 63, 63 miles per hour. Oh, we have 59 now. All right, so it's a tropical storm hitting Tokyo. Uh, but there's more evidence that this thing is being shot up with frequencies and geoengineered. And yeah, why do why do I do this? Why do I bother five and a half years later and I'm still at it? For what reason? For what reason? I'm preaching to the choir. You guys know this. You guys know it. We're just watching people get destroyed. Because we have a majority in our respective countries that are completely and utterly dumbed down, ignorant, um, irresponsible, just won't, you know, act like adults and take on the responsibility that adults have towards one another, 
to do the research to find out what is happening in the world. So these elite, psychopathic, crazy, evil nut jobs get to do whatever the hell they want to do to us. And we have people walking around us, surrounding us, that just don't care. Which certainly reflects the destruction of morality in our respective countries. But you can see right here on the periphery, Typhoon Land, frequencies being used right there. Obvious, in our face. Can't be more obvious. Jesus. All right, I, I took uh, footage of the IntelliCast yesterday of this typhoon, as you can see. The bottom right here, that's uh, clear evidence of frequencies being used because Mother Nature does not work with rulers and create these very defined, defined lines in her storm. Man does that with the use of frequencies. But here is this yesterday on IntelliCast. Wow, what an eye, huh? What a fabulous hurricane with... Wow, that's a huge eye. But you can see all of the lines on the periphery, all of the geoengineering, all of the spraying that is taking place. And this line right over here, right there. No, that is not Mother Nature creating that. So I took, I don't know how long, but this went on for a while, and I did show radar how it was not on the radar yesterday as well. But I went through this, and yeah. It's so similar to Hurricane Irma, Hurricane Maria, Hurricane Ophelia. Claiming it's a Category 4. And it's not. But I do show how this whole weather front that extended right into the west coast of the United States, the whole thing was geoengineered with all of the massive chemtrailing. All right. It's hard to preach to the choir. It's hard to keep doing the same thing over and over and over again with, with hardly, you know, <laughs> what's the point? Why don't we just all stop posting videos and just watch the destruction take place by these elite, psychopathic, crazy people? Because clearly we, we are incapable of getting it to stop. But I so showed all of the geoengineering happening in China. Mainstream media reported China uh, using weather modification during the Olympics, stopping it from raining, uh, you know, and it, it still we can't get through to people. Mainstream media has reported that man can modify, manipulate the weather and then when we try to talk to people, you know, they just think that we're crazy. Such a sick world we are living in. It's truly unbelievable. But I also showed this bizarre storm here in the Atlantic. Uh, off the coast of um, Canada clear in our face geoengineering all of those lines and a day later it's gone so just want to say yeah um, where is the radar here. Oh, 
Let me bring you back. No, <laughs> there was no typhoon and no storm in the Atlantic, but it showed up on satellite. So let's go back to IntelliCast today. So this is clear, geoengineered, manufactured, causing destruction in Japan. They, mainstream media, lying about it being a Category 4 hitting Japan, but they will cause destruction in Japan. They'll cause an awful lot of destruction with this thing, I am quite sure. People will die, people will have their homes destroyed, but this entire weather front right here, obvious frequencies being used, no, Mother Nature does not create these very defined lines and then take a chunk out of a storm front, out of a weather front, perfectly defined. Let me just bite a piece of that storm front off. Right. And, of course, California is getting no weather. No geoengineering and no um, rain. So, what I also want to point out, I may have to go the other way. Yes, I have to go the other way. So, let's go back this way. Obvious grid patterns. In this thing, what are they doing here? Are they creating another hurricane? Seems that we've had an awful lot of hurricanes this uh, the last couple of months. All a creation of man. But look at the grid pattern outside on the periphery of whatever they are creating here. Clear in our face. And Ireland, are you getting an awful lot of rain? Are you getting some massive flooding occurring, UK? Because you've been geoengineered quite a bit since Hurricane Ophelia. But again, radar, whoop. Well, at least you have a little bit showing up for you. Uh, But what is appearing on satellite is not is not creating any kind of precipitation. Really? Let's do radar and satellite. So you can see all of the spraying. I guess it's just radar that moves along, not the satellite. Let's go back to the satellite. And you can see all of the spraying in this storm as well, hitting Ireland. Look at the outer bands of this storm. Right down here, clear geoengineering. God, I'm so sick of this. <sighs> all right. Um, so let's go to Houston. Let's go to Texas. Let's go to this, this incredible defined storm going right up the United States into Canada all the way from the Gulf. Oh wait a second, this is going down south, the jet stream. What are you doing jet stream? You seem to be pushing this, the tail end of the this storm south, but this upper, oh, starting in, I don't know, Mississippi or Alabama, no, that's uh, not even Mississippi. What is this? Ah, uh, come on, Carol. Arkansas, shit. Okay, um, and Oklahoma, so it's going up, but it's going down here. Wow, goes right into the Gulf, but it's going up north, right up here. So jet stream, baby, what are you doing? 
you're leaving me a little confused by your actions. Obvious, even from this distance, you can see that this thing is geoengineered. And look how beautiful all of the defined curvatures. Wow. Mother Nature, you've perfected yourself. So it goes right on up into Canada. Texas, Houston, you don't need any more rain, huh? Let's see if you're on satellite. Oh, you are. Okay. So, yeah, this is being pushed out to the Gulf, and this is going up north. I guess somebody would say that the jet stream is coming all the way down and then going back up. Going back straight up. Can't make any sense of our weather today. Can we? No. But we sure know the destruction that takes place, huh? And look at that. So it comes on down here, goes into the Gulf, and then I guess it's going back up. Who the hell knows? And let's take a, another look at Ventu Sky. And I'm sorry, my computer, I don't know. The jet stream seems to be going in an awful lot of different uh, directions. Going around and around, coming down here, it's going on up here, and then it's circling around, and I guess it's, whoop, it's getting caught in, in this, what? Maybe they're making another hurricane over here. Yeah, the jet stream does seem to be going in an awful lot of directions. You know, what I want to point out is the use of these frequencies, the use of this technology, um, the geoengineering, the spraying of all of these toxic chemicals, it affects every one of us, even if we're not experiencing the direct consequences of these weather events. We're getting poisoned by it. And the use of the, the frequencies to, to uh, manipulate and create, modify, intensify these storms they're being used throughout the world. We're saturated in these frequencies and they do cause an awful lot of problems for all of us. Because, men, it, look, the frequencies affect all life. Whether you're asymptomatic um, or symptomatic. If you're asymptomatic, you may think, oh, you know, people who talk about how they're feeling because of the frequencies, you are claiming that they're crazy, you're claiming even though you're awake to it, but because you don't experience any symptoms, you're thinking that people are making it up, exaggerating, they're hypochondriacs. You're as bad as the sleeping ignorant. There are an awful lot of people who are suffering the consequences. And I will tell you, this past week, I have not been okay. And I guess I'll post another video on what I have been experiencing, but my brain has not been working. And it's really 
Uh, it's it's hard to take. Very hard to take. But the jet stream seems to be pushing these weather fronts all over the place. And the jet stream, well, it usually has a pattern of bringing, you know, these, uh, they're like uh, rivers of, of w uh, wind high above the atmosphere that move weather fronts along. And where the hell are these <coughs> weather fronts going when we have our wind patterns all over, all over? Now, I'm not a meteorologist, and I'm not certainly an expert. Um, so if I'm wrong about this, well, I'm sure somebody will tell me. But it does seem odd that our, our weather is just going in all different directions all over the place. And the jet stream seems to be also just all over the place. Do you know what happens? Sorry for the noisy car. Do you know what happens when they use this technology to <clears throat> artificially manipulate our natural weather systems? Do you know what happens to us? We all get affected because we are all connected. The earth, weather, human being. We get affected. So when they disrupt the natural systems of weather, when they disrupt the natural systems of, of earth, when they disrupt the natural systems, they disrupt our natural system as well. So we're just going to see more and more destruction with these man-made weather events. That's, what, that's what's going to be happening now. That's what's been happening now. Are we seeing more rain in Houston? Yeah, baby, we are. Yes, we are. But it's interesting that, well, this is coming on radar, but off the coast of Japan, the typhoon is not appearing on radar. But can you see all of the frequencies also being used right here. Let's go a little closer. You got... Wow! Okay. So you got that beam happening right down here in the Gulf. Boom! And you got more up here. right up here and as as you can see all of the frequencies being used because you can see how clearly defined this weather front becomes let's see right here and right here. Yeah, Mother Nature takes a square or a rectangle out of pieces of her storm. You can see all of the frequencies and the precipitation, all of the uh, ripples right in it, clear in our face. So who's next to be destroyed? Hmm? Many of my subscribers are getting destroyed. Who's next? Who's next? <laughs>